Hi, so a while ago, um, I watched a tutorial, I can't even remember where I saw it at, but it was about how to bake textures in Blender or how to like atlas them together. And the texture or the tutorial is actually pretty long. And, and I feel like they miss some things that are pretty important for baking different materials together. So I just want to do a quick tutorial to show how I do it because I think it makes optimizing a lot better when you can easily in Blender Atlas multiple textures together. So um, so yeah, in this project, this is um, a lot of assets that I had created for um, my new VR chat bar, the Amber Tower, and I'm just trying to go through here and package things together for because I'm going to put it up on Booth. Um, so I'm just going to take these two objects here and bake them together because right now this this gold material or this item here and then this item here is um, and this thing, there are two materials, this is gold and this is dark metal so I'm going to put them together um, on one texture so that it's a bit more optimized and I can have one material instead of two so um, first thing you want to do is well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these duplicates. They're all separate objects so that in Unity I can like select each one of them. But I'm going to delete those. And then I'm going to take this, this object, and this object, and I'm going to join them together um, by pressing Control J. I'm assuming if you're watching this, you know a little bit about Blender, and I don't have to explain all the clicks, but join them together so that they are just one mesh <laughs> this is a fucking mess um, so yeah I, I know why this is a mess but it's fine um, so first the, the after you join them together you need to go and you need to UV them out um, the way you do that without because you don't want to screw up the UVs that the way it's textured right now I, for this I remember I just I had just done a smart UV project to um, UV it out so I'm gonna go through what you want to do is go to this um, object data properties, go down to the UV maps, add a new one, and then select this. And now um, you can select everything and make all your changes and UV it out onto one thing So um, and, and not mess up what you have originally. So I'm just going to go through here and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to UV this out properly. Um, this might take a second, so I will just speed through that. Alright, so now um, we're on our second UV map that we just made, and we atlas it out, or we UV'd it out, so it's all on one, um, all nice and neat on one UV map. And now we just need to go to materials, and we're going to create a new material. And let's go ahead, let's call this gold gold bar atlas and then we go down here at an image texture let's bring this over the nodes don't really matter um, all you do need is a new image texture so let's create a new let's call it bar gold atlas Press OK and let's open that. And it's just a black texture. The next part's pretty important. What you need to do is go to your other materials and find that new texture that we just made. So bar, create a new image texture and bring it out to the side and don't connect it to any nodes on, on the existing materials. So I'm just going to duplicate that, find my bar texture that I just made, my atlas, which is here, just a black image. Um, not connecting it in any way. Um, what you want to do now, this is pretty important. This wasn't explained in the tutorial I watched. You need to go to each material that you just created that texture or that you just created that image texture node uh, and click that. The, click the image texture node so that it's highlighted the one that has your atlas that you're going to bake the textures on. So make sure that's selected. Basically, that's just telling the program that when you bake um, for this material, it's going to bake onto this. Um, this is the node it's supposed to bake onto, which is selected with the atlas texture that we just made, which is right now just a black image. So let's go here and double check that this one is selected. And then we can go here 
and um, now select this. And now what you're going to want to do is go into the render properties, make sure you're make sure you are on um, cycles, and then you're going to go down to bake, go to diffuse, and then you're going to disable direct and indirect because that's uh, we don't want lighting. All we want is like the diffuse color of the materials that we're baking and then um, you just hit bake and then you'll see it start down here and you let it go and when that's done we should see a text an atlas on our um, texture atlas that we just made and so it just finished and this is the result so yeah and that's how you do it a couple of quick notes um, if you go back to the materials you'll see on my gold material that I am using just like a diffuse node here uh, that's the best thing to do um, I realize I made a mistake. If you look at this right here, I have metallic all the way up, which caused it to just bake pitch black, which isn't really what I want. So I'll have to rebake that again, but that's um, exactly how you do it. So make sure that for the most part, you're just using a diffuse node. So that way you, you're getting like that base texture and you can go through here and like, I can open up the normals that I have for that and then like bake again and then make a normal map. Um, so you could you could do that. Um, it's kind of tedious, but it's worth it if you are going to uh, cut down on materials. So I think it's important. Uh, so just a quick recap. The way you do this is you go into UV maps, make a new UV map, UV it all out onto one UV map after you have joined all your materials all your objects together, then you go to materials, create a new material, create a new image with your that you're going to save the atlas on, go to each material that you have on all these objects or on these object on this object because it's just one object now. Add an image node with the atlas, make sure it's selected, and then you go to here, cycles rendering, bake without indirect and direct lighting on, and you'll get an atlas. And that's about it.